Very good morning to all. Today we can discuss about the transmit diversity in wireless communication subject. So transmit diversity. So this, this will be mainly uh, in many situations, multiple antennas can be installed at just one inch. So usually at the base station. For the uplink transmission from mobile station to base station, multiple antennas can act as received diversity bandwidth. But for the downlink, any possible diversity originates to the transmitter. So in the downlink condition only, we are going for the transmit diversity. So the time that is here, transmit diversity refers to the antenna diversity, which will be comprising the spatial diversity, pattern diversity, and polarization diversity, which you discussed already. So the transmit diversity provides several solutions to transmit signals from several transmitter antennas and achieve a diversity effect with it. So the transmitter diversity, uh, in the, from the diagram we can say that we have multiple transmitting antenna branches and one receiving antenna branch. Uh, so which in the, uh, in the transmitter itself, uh, we can have the spatial diversity, pattern diversity, and polarization diversity, which you have discussed in the micro diversity. So the transmit diversity can occur with channel state information as well as without channel state information. Channel state information means the transmit response, the channel response should be either known or unknown. So with channel state information means channel, the channel response should be known. So the first situation, we are going to consider the case where the transmitter knows well about the channel. So this is possible due to feedback from the receiver. So from reciprocity principle, we are obtaining this feedback information. And in this case, we find that there is a complete equivalence between transmit diversity and receive diversity. The optimum transmit transmission scheme used is maximum ratio transmission. Here, the optimum transmission scheme linearly weights signals transmitted from different antenna elements with the complex conjugates of the channel transfer functions or channel transfer response from the transmit antenna elements to the receiving antenna element. Uh, we have a only single receiver, so receiving antenna element, only one will be there. So this we are considered to be the maximum radio transmission. This case is used for the feedback case that is with channel state information. The second condition is transmit diversity without channel state information. The channel state information is not available at the transmission or not known to the transmitter. So we cannot simply transmit weighted copies of the same signal from different transmit animals because we cannot know how would you add up the receiver because the channel response is unknown. So it is equally likely for the addition of different components to be constructive or destructive. We would be just adding up or which will be uh, subtracted up with random phases. So this will be leading to a uh, ray like fading. So it is not possible to uh, know the transmitted weighted copies. So transmission of signals from different antenna elements has to be in such a way that the receiver distinguished between different components. So for that, there are two techniques. The first one should be the delay diversity. So in this scheme, uh, signals transmitted from different antenna elements are delayed copies of the same signal. So this makes sure that the effective impulse response is delayed dispersing even if the channel itself is flat fading. So in a flat fading channel, the data is transmitted with a delay of one simple duration. Then the inverse response of the channel is given to the H of C or tau is equal to 1 by root n or summation n equal to 1 to n t. Depends on the transmitting antenna element. So n varies from 1 to n t. H n del of third or minus n t s. So where H n represents the gains from the transmitting antenna. So it depends on the number to the receiving antenna. And the impulse response has been normalized so that the total transmit power is independent of the number of antenna elements. So the signals from different transmit antennas to the receiver act effectively as delayed multipath components. And if the channel from a single transmit antenna to the receiver is already delayed dispersive, then the skin still works but care to be taken with the choice of delays of different antenna elements. The second technology is phase sweeping diversity. So in this phase sweeping diversity, uh, the, which is especially useful if there are only two antenna elements. So only two antenna elements with the same signal is transmitted from both antenna elements. However, one of the antenna signals undergo a time varying phase shift. 
This means that the receiving, the receiver, the receiving the signals add up in a time varying way. In other words, we can say introduce temporal variations into the channel. So this reason is for this, even if the transmitter receiver and the input output are the stationary, the signal does not remain stuck in a fading day. If this method is combined with coding and interleaving, it improves the performance that is nothing but the uh, one of major uh, increase in the SNR. And third one, there is one thing, usage of space time codes, but this usage of the space time codes for transmit diversity is not at all preferred. Uh, so the delay diversity and the phase shifting diversity is used for channel state information unknown. So this is about the transmit diversity. So we have discussed what is transmit diversity and second transmit diversity with channel state information. So for that case, we have to go for only maximum ratio transmission. And the third case, transmission diversity without channel state information. So when, when the channel state information is unknown, we have to go for delay diversity. And the second one is the phase sweeping diversity. Thank you.